when you're trying to import um, your database um, file into your PHP admin, maybe you've done uh, find and replace and then you're trying to import it back, you can get into issues quickly whereby you can run out of memory due to uh, the server limits. So here, I was told I can upload a minimum of 500 megabytes, but that's not the case. The moment you try to upload, you can run up into issues like uh, memory limits, this, this, and that. So how do you solve that problem? Which other way can you import that database when you're done editing whatever it is that you're editing? Let's delve into it. So in my case, I'm trying to import this database and it's around 195.6 megabytes. So here is a way to actually escape that memory limit issues. First, you want to log into your cPanel and go to the file manager. The next thing you want to do is to upload the database you are trying to import. In my case, I'll just, what next you do is to click on the upload button. So the database would be imported into your cPanel. Now in few minutes, I'll tell you what next you need to do. So let's pause the video and wait for the database to upload into our file manager uh, and uh, our directory on the cPanel. See you soon. Now that our database is done uploading, let's move to the next step. So the next step is to go to back to your cPanel to where you uploaded the file, refresh, and then pick the database, click on compress, and then choose a uh, .sql.zip, which is the first one. And then you, what you do next is to click on compress. Let's wait for that to complete, and we'll be right back. Oh, that was fast. So now that that is done, you want to now download this. Now notice what happened. The original size of the database was 186.5 MB. Now that we've compressed it, we have 19.86 megabytes. So the next thing you do is to download the file, just like I'm doing like this. I'll be right back when the download is done. Now the next step is to go to your cPanel and then click on the backup uh, wizard. Then you want to select the restore button. And then click on databases. And then select that database that was converted into uh, that was compressed into zip folder you want to select that and then the next thing you want to do after selecting it you want to click on the upload button now we'll wait for that to complete once that successfully uploads you should see a green uh, notification that the restoration of that database has been completed so let's wait for this to complete uh, uploading. So you can experience such an, such an error like this when you're trying to import the database. I think one of the things to do is to delete the existing database and then you upload the new one. So what I'm going to do is to head over to my PHP admin and then I will um, select the database in question. And then I will check all, like so, and drop. So we're going to be dropping everything like that. Please double check before you drop so that you don't drop. <laughs> OK, what was this? Foreign keys, blah, blah, blah. Shall I drop? Drop. Okay, so we have a fresh database. So I'll just go back to my cPanel again. And then I will attempt to upload the database. We'll be right back. Okay, so now you can see that the database has been restored successfully. But there is something I didn't show you the first time. So in trying to... Um, so in trying to up update, upload this large database, if you've compressed with .zip and it didn't work, you can come back to your database, uh, your file manager, and 
compress it in GZ. So you want to select compress and choose GZip instead of uh, .zip like we did before. So you can use GZip and compress. You can see that my extension actually changed to GZip because I tried zip before and there was an error. So um, that has been completed. And so that's how you upload large uh, database files into your uh, workflow or your PHP admin. So if you go back and you refresh your database, you find out that everything is back to normal. So thank you for watching. Another one brought to you by Tutorial Step. See you some other time. If you experience a challenge in trying to upload large database, just hit me in the comment section and I'll be ready to assist you. Have a nice day. Bye.